Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Pastiche of Skin. Today we're playing a bit more Marvel Heroes Omega. Yes, guys, I've been enjoying the hell out of this game. Um, the guys from Gazillion have been really, really helpful with uh, providing access to the closed beta. And whenever we posted up our videos last week and the live streams I've been playing of this as a been pushing through in the open beta. Uh, they give us some points to spend. Uh, you can see up in the top corner. That's not my money. Those G's belong to the companies. And uh, I feel like it's... I mean, I'm going to spend it on heroes and characters that aren't available in the packs. But I thought something that was actually uh, available in here in the actual store for the game that caught my interest was the boosters, which I'll be using. I'll be using the money to buy boosters to level up the characters. I'll be using them to upgrade to make space if I run out of space for gear and for powering up my ultimates. But this is the thing that caught my interest. These marvelous loot crates. Now, there's random costumes in these marvelous loot crates that you can't buy in-game with um, shards or splinters of eternity. There is uh, objects, boosters, and items in here that are not in regular drops. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to buy a few boxes uh, there we go 20 25 or 50 oh, screw it. we're going 25 <laughs> it physically makes me tense to actually buy these i don't like the idea of like spending money on random loot crates but um yeah we're going to actually do a unboxing video here and go through as many of these as we have okay Oh, some special deliveries, yeah? Oh, that's, that's some uh, wonderful special deliveries right there. Uh, isn't that nice? Gotta get uh, hands free. Oh, God, we didn't have enough space for all of them. <laughs> okay, let's uh, get rid of some gear, I suppose. Best way to describe. Uh, oh, these are She-Hulk gears. Um, is there something there worth getting rid of? I'm uh, sure those were fine. I'm sure sure we don't need those. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure, sure we didn't need any of those. It's only the one box that we need anyway, so we'll go with that. Okay, so uh, let's open up the items. Now, I don't know what's inside these crates, these boxes. Uh, what does it say specifically? Um, use this box to open your marvelous loot box. The box contains many items to help improve your experience, rare currencies, costumes, and more. So, let's do the countdown. Start at 25 and work our way down. 25... Marvelous loot box it is! Okay, four Marvelous Essences, which is the currency you get from these boxes. Four isn't a lot to give. Futuristic Alloy, Rare Crafting Material, Uncommon Crafting Material, Ionic Particles, Matrix of Unbinding for Unbinding Objects, two of those. That was a awful, awful crate. That's all crafting materials and objects I'm never, I'm doing really use Unbinding Materials because I don't have that many characters that I have to worry about. So that was a bad drop for the first one, down to 24. Again, four Marvelous Essences, a uh, minor experience boost, so a boost for your speed gain, a credit chest worth in-game currency of about 10,000. That's absolutely worthless, really. <laughs> like, 10,000 credits isn't a lot to actually chase down, especially if you're actually using the experience boosters. Um, unstable molecules for crafting and crafting again. Wow, that is really bad. Okay, third drop. We got down to 23 now. Four Marvel's Essences, more crafting materials, more crafting materials, a combination boost, which is very, very useful. Uh, combination boost being like a AXP, uh, they, these actually be sold for 40 Marvel Essences, so they're worth 10 of these crates just for one of those. Um, gain shield supply boost points, so they extend you that's where the supply crates they arrive as well from shield. Shit. Oh man. These are really awful drops so far, like not a single costume yet for any of the characters, which is understandable. So we're down to 22. And again, with the essences, crafting, crafting, well, a credit chest, a shield supply boost, and more crafting materials. Okay, down to 22. I'm losing track now because I'm actually getting annoyed by the fact that I've spent money on these. And it makes me feel sore on the inside. It actually physically hurts. Okay, uh, more Marvel essences, a credit chest, 5,000, more crafting, crafting, crafting. Kicking. Okay, let's double check how many we got left. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So three sevens, uh, two sevens, tw 21 and 22. Yep, so that makes sense. 
Okay. Try another one. There we go. I hate doing this. So legendary marks. That's actually a pretty nice drop. Legendary marks are a decent drop. If you got combination boost and you're fighting bosses, you're going to drop about six to ten legendary marks per boss anyway, so it's not brilliant. So combination boost obviously being the best thing to grab because you get more for more for the amount of combination boost you use. So um, 10 legendary marks, more Marvel Essence, uh, more crafting material, crafting material, crafting materials. Oh man, this is like, oh, it, it, it's it's a high level crafting material, sure, but that's not brilliant. And more credit chests, and now more, more crafting materials. No combination boost, which is useful. Combination boosts are actually my friend. The combination boost will be the thing I prefer to get out of anything else. Uh, crowd of chests, more crafting, more Matrix of Unbindings. Don't like the, the <sighs> Matrix of Unbindings obviously being a rare enough item, but you can craft those in game reasonably easily. Um, wow, high tech fabric for 6,000 credits just for that rare, rare material. And uh, another shield supply boost, more cosmic fragments. So just crafting material after craft material. So we could go through a full 25 of these, and I don't think we're going to get a single costume. So, um, yeah, nope, more crafting materials. <sighs> right, so you think about this, what, 5,000 credits would have been about 20 quid. So, so far, right, I'm, I'm like, I'm going to do the math afterwards of exactly how much I spent, I spent doing this, but I'm not seeing anything in any of these crits, all craft materials, 20 legendary marks, very nice. And a currency boost. Okay, that that was actually probably the best crit. The best crit so far was 20 legendary marks, a credit boost, but there was only... Yeah, there was still five things in it. Okay, let's see what we got in this one. More legendary marks. And more crafting materials. Nope. It's the same. Same again. This is not brilliant. Mechanical components. Oof. The quality of the objects are getting worse. Admittedly, that's kind of cool. 100,000 credit item chest. Like, that's a rare credit item chest. So, 100,000. That's not something to sniff your nose at. 100,000 is a fair amount of cash. Like, that's that's an entire playthrough of a character with uh, boosts on, as far as I know. Only five legendary marks that time. More Matrix of Unbinding. I'm going to have way too many of those floating around. So, that's actually, like, what... I've dropped got about ten of them. Hey! Fucking yes! We finally got a skin! Alright! So Moon Knight Mr. Knight in a vest top. So this is Mr. This is actually uh Moon Knight's Mr. Knight costume, but without his um overcoat. So a little bit more casual. Yes, a, a casual protector of night, night travelers. So the self grimed protector of night travelers. Moon Knight has taken a new role in New York as Mr. Knight, working with police to stop common criminals and creatures of the night alike. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, so we finally got a costume. Admittedly, it's a costume I don't give a crap about, because Moon Knight's not one of my favorite characters, but wow, how many did we go through to get to that? Wait, how many do we have left? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight left. So, yeah. Twelve. Five, six, seven. Someone in there, what was going on? Seventeen. Seventeen crates before we could actually, before we got something, uh, clothing-wise. Let's take a look to see what else is in here. Uh, oh, what's this? Used to upgrade your ultimate power by one rank and permanently increase its effects. Ultimate powers cannot exceed rank 20. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, that's actually a really good drop. So that costs about 500 Gs on their own. So that actually covered the cost of pretty much half of one of the crates, or half of the, like that covered the cost of three crates. Three crates for just that, and I'm assuming with the skin, uh, that skin wasn't available. That skin is one of those unavailable to purchase skins because it's actually like a, an alternate one. But yeah, that's not too bad. Ultimate power upgrades. More of those, please. More of those would be nice, uh, especially for the money that you're spending on these. What else we got? Another 15 legendary marks, another credit chest, and cosmic fragment. Uh, yay. Chest enhanced experience boost, uh, chest of oh, there you go. 
So you know when you get in the four Marvelous Essences, grand, but we actually got a chest of 50 Marvel Essence just in there. So you can, your loot box attempted to give you a costume you have already received previously. Right! So whatever skin I already have, it just tried to give me one. So you get far, so that's what the trade-in is. A skin is worth 50 Marvelous Essence if you already have it. That's not too bad. That's actually, like, I mean, 50 Essence. We'll have to check what the prices are on skins. But, um, 50 Marvel Essence. Marvelous Essence is actually pretty nice. Okay, let's see what else we got in here. Yeah, more crafting materials. And uh, 10 Legendary Marks, Minor Experience Boost, and the... Uh, supply boost and more crafting materials. That was actually not too bad one. I, I actually like the active combination boost and stuff because you make use of those while you're playing a lot more. Uh, 50 legendary marks. That's a, that's a nice drop of legendary marks. But again, the rest of it's all crafty, crafty, craft. And a experience boost. And we're down to the last one, folks. What have we got? We got one skin. One skin out of 25. Admittedly, we got two skins, but we already got one of the skins it was trying to give us. So, that was a bit wasted. And we'll just take that 50 essence. Like the wee box for it. Yeah, there we go. That's nice of you. So, uh, let's jump across here in the delivery so we see everything we've got listed here. So, this should be everything we got from the crates. So, Astro Essence, one of those. Two combination boosts. 50 cosmic fragments, a credit chest, a rare credit chest, enhanced genome, two ionic particles, uh, three matrix of unbinding, three shield supply boosts, 60 unstable molecules. So that's actually what filled up my stuff. I'm assuming the rest it must be in my pockets because it feels like there was a lot more than that. Aye, there we go. Um, ba -ba -ba, currency boost, four experience boost, two minor experience boost. And another shield supply boost. And uh, what was in the misc? Uh, ultimate power upgrade. Yeah. And a fuck ton of crafting materials um, and credit boxes. Yeah, so all the crafting materials end up in here that were otherwise filling up my space. Wow. Um, that was really awful. We need to check out what... Alright, so what is... We have to check the store here and take a look at the loot boxes. So... At a thousand for five, I bought twenty-five, so I spent five thousand G. So let's take a look. What is five thousand G? Need to look in the store here. So five thousand five hundred G, which uh, we spent just short of thirty-six ninety-nine. So that's what eighty dollars, give or take seventy eighty dollars, seventy eighty dollars of uh, of G's spent and i received one for 80 dollars you got one skin well two skins but one of them converted so and i'm willing to bet it was actually that mr moon knight skin again as well so one skin and all the rest of the stuff for 80 dollars now that feels a little bit shit just just on the just on its basics that feels shit um i need to see all right we can't buy or we can't check out the G costing of the rare skins from here because they're actually are because they're marvelous loot. So we need to find our marvelous loot person. Legendary item vendor. Where's our marvelous, 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 marvelous items, marvelous items? Where are you? Oh, that's right, because I can't even roam with this character. Oh, Moon Knight will be or Moon Dragon will be down here. Hello, Moon Dragon. There you are. Marvelous essence dealer. Right. So skins. The marvelous skins, the alternate marvelous skins, are 100 G or 100 marvelous essence each. So each one of these would be a hundred marvelous essence. You get four essence from a crate. So to buy one of these without a chance of, without having automatically randomly gotten a costume boost with an extra 50, uh, 25 crates at four marvelous essence each. That's a hundred. So you can buy for 20, for $80, for, Jesus Christ, whoa, actually shit, that just struck me, 80 fucking dollars for one skin, Jesus.
Jesus Christ! You're here. Holy crap, that is fucked up! Holy fuck! Eighty dollars for one skin. That is fucking awful. So all these skins, they, they're all hundred, 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 hundred. Here's the fucked up thing. I have that skin now. So why is it listing him still there? That's that's fucking weird. Although admittedly, do I have some of these costumes already from my? Like I already have the unbe. Well, that's a variant. It's an variant on the unbeatable costume, isn't it? Contains the following costume: Squirrel Girl unbeatable variant. Oh God Almighty! Whoo! So that's what I'm saying. Like even the ultimate power upgrade at a hundred Marvel Essence, like that's that's eighty dollars to level up your ultimate power once. I mean the pricing on everything else, uh, what for? So that'd be ten crates uh, for a combination boost. So ten crates being uh, two thousand. So even then, it's what for a combination for one combination boost. It'll cost you probably in the range of fifteen to twenty dollars. A single boost is fifteen to twenty dollars. Jesus Christ, that is fucked beyond all recognition. Oh man, no, that is not cool at all. I oh, fucking even the, and I just noticed there's actually the Iron Spider skin. Enhanced skins cost more, it's so 140 for it. <sighs> that can eat ass. That can go fuck itself. Oh man, that is so bad. Whoo! 150. That's a. I got 150 essence from 25 crates. There's 100 essence plus the 50. That. It's fucked up, man. The thing is, I'm gonna have to store all this stuff now as well. So, oh, that's gonna be interesting. That, uh, that that actually blew my mind a wee bit. I felt bad about buying them, but I'm so glad I didn't spend any of my real money on that. Guys, wow. Marvelous loot essences, uh, or marvelous loot crates, as they are now, are fucking garbage. Uh, before, with the four Marvelous Essence per crate, um, the very low chances, like that's 25 crates open back to back with only two, uh, costumes possibly got, like two, two possibly gotten, one definitely gotten because I already had one of the costumes that they were going to give me. So literally that was, uh, that's $80 for one skin possibly two skins because you will have enough money from 25 of those to buy one skin so yeah it's not an economical way jesus there needs to be another way to actually earn the uh, earn that marvelous essence other than that paid way because the ratio the payout for it is awful those are really really bad crafting drops and not enough combo drops if you want to actually make that a much more pleasing choice they need to drop more combo boosts and just get rid of the other boosts. Don't, don't bother with minor EXP boosts. Don't bother with supply drop boosts. Just reduce it down to combination boosts. Just combination boosts. Just do those. And it makes it worthwhile. Because most you're going to want to actually have four or five of those on each other. To actually get the maximum rate and value out of it. And the combo boosts are not dropping enough on their own to make that worthwhile. Oh man. Even then, maybe just EXP and a combo boost. Just to actually have. Because having ones for individually for each EXP, currency, marks, all of them, is a torture and a half. That is not cool. Gazillion Games, uh, guys, I'm enjoying the game, but I'm not enjoying your pay structure for that stuff. Understand it for G's for characters, buying them out at 900 to go. That's actually not too bad. That Senshi works out. At $80, you can buy six characters seven characters at 5500 and that's enough to start off if you're not going to buy a pack full of characters already but damn guys that's fucked up uh the, the marvelous loot boxes 
do not drop well enough at all. That needs to be tweaked in some way, shape, or form. Um, I've got nothing else to say. So thanks very much for watching. That was entertaining to a bit, but Jesus Christ. That needs to be fixed in some way, shape, or form. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you thought my opinions were a bit overblown about Marvel Heroes loot crates and Marvel Assassins, comment below and tell me what you think because I think that was fucking awful. Um, if you want to, make sure to hit the subscribe and the follow for wherever it is, wherever you may have found this video. And uh, Jesus, uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you need to find me, pass your skin. Just search for it. I'm not hiding anywhere. You can easily find me on the internet. And um, if you're on this YouTube, you can actually see other videos by this channel up here in the corner. They'll be popping up on screen. Uh, other videos in the series, uh, videos that are far right, most really recommended. And this one right here, specifically for you, because it's the uh, video that can use Google Analytics to find exactly what you wanted. But uh, thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.